Belgian-born martial arts prodigy Jean-Claude Van Damme became an international superstar in the 80s and 90s thanks to hit movies like Bloodsport, Kickboxer, and Time Cop. And then the man known as the Muscles from Brussels seemingly disappeared overnight. My name is Jean-Claude Van Damme. I used to be super famous. Why did his star fade? Here's a look at the truth about what happened to Jean-Claude Van Damme. He got greedy. Jean-Claude Van Damme reached his commercial peak with the 1994 time travel thriller Time Cop, which earned $44 million at the box office. It should have been the start of something big, but instead it was the end. That's because Van Damme got greedy. After the success of Time Cop, Van Damme was reportedly offered a three-movie deal that would have paid him an astounding $12 million per film. Around the same time, Jim Carrey made headlines by becoming the first $20 million man. So Van Damme rejected the $12 million and asked for the same fee Carrey had negotiated. Negotiated. The three-movie offer was rescinded, and Van Damme ended up on what he later described as a Hollywood blacklist, effectively ending his blockbuster career. In 2012, Van Damme told The Guardian, Jim Carrey was being paid a fortune, and I wanted to play with the system. Like an idiot. Ridiculous. Unlucky in love Van Damme may not have been making many blockbusters over the past quarter century, but he's had plenty of drama in his life to keep him busy. Over the years, Van Damme has been married five times to four different women. If that math seems odd, it's because his third wife is also his fifth wife. Yup, after divorcing third wife Gladys Portuguese, Van Damme married his mistress Darcy Lapierre in 1994. While married to Lapierre, Van Damme had a dalliance with pop singer and actress Kylie Minogue, his co-star in the 1994 video game adaptation Street Fighter. The marriage to Lapierre imploded, after which Van Damme married Portuguese again in 1999. Though the couple has had its ups and downs over the years, with Portuguese even filing for divorce in 2015, they're still together today. True Love Motivational Speaker Van Damme may be known for his fists, but he's also made a living by running his mouth. In 2016, the star went on a lecturing tour in Australia called An Evening with Jean-Claude Van Damme, which was billed as an unplugged and unscripted discussion of his life. Some topics, however, were apparently off-limits, as Van Damme took the unplugged part literally when he walked out in the middle of a TV interview because he didn't care for the questions. Okay, I gotta go restroom. Bye-bye. Don't shoot cut. What is going on in Australia? What the going on. I cannot do this. Hopefully fans who paid nearly $1,500 for VIP tickets to the lecture got more out of him than the show did. Activist In 2016, Van Damme appeared at a fundraiser for Animals Australia, donating $30,000 to the charity. Van Damme implored the nation to adopt retired greyhounds and met with Australia's Environment Minister to procure government funding to relocate endangered rhinos, gorillas, and elephants to Australia, where he hopes to create a sanctuary. Nice job! Political Controversy Chechnya, or the Chechen Republic, is a Russian entity ruled by Ramzan Kadyrov. The international watchdog organization Human Rights Watch has said Kadyrov ruthlessly enforces a police state linked to abductions, torture, and executions of enemies and insurgents, among other human rights abuses. But in 2011, that didn't stop stars like Jean-Claude Van Damme and Hilary Swank from attending a lavish party in Kadyrov's honor. While Swank later apologized, Van Damme had a different view on things. Kadyrov. An unrepentant Van Damme even returned just a few weeks later to have dinner with Kadyrov and check out the sights. Commercial Enterprises Despite all his success in film, Van Damme's most popular work is actually a 2013 Volvo commercial, which has racked up more than 87 million views on YouTube. That's more people than have ever bought tickets to see a single one of his movies. His commercial enterprises haven't all been successful, though. In 2017, Van Damme appeared in an ad for the Australian company Autotune, which featured the star saving two women from being assaulted by a street gang. The Ad Standards Bureau of Australia cited it as one of the most complained about ads of the year, with one viewer saying, the ad is promoting the sexualization of women but also the predatory behavior of men. Second Chances In 2008, Van Damme received an unexpected career boost with the acclaimed indie film JCVD, where he played a version of himself reflecting on his life during a bank robbery gone wrong. J'étais déchiré, mentalement, physiquement, à un point que je m'en suis sorti. 
That opened the door for a career revival which so far has included appearances in The Expendables 2 and the revived Kickboxer and Universal Soldier franchises. More recently, it also helped Van Damme land the Amazon Prime series Jean-Claude Van Johnson, where he plays an aging Hollywood action star who becomes a secret agent. One thing's for sure, no matter how many times Van Damme gets knocked down, you can never count him out. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.